Good morning, everybody. I'm Cal Anton from Simple Mortgage, my partner, John Thompson. How are you doing? We are both reverse mortgage specialists, and John is a CRMP. We're here today to talk a little bit about reverse mortgage options. Yep. So we're going to go through, uh, it's a very quick presentation and try and give you just a quick overview of how the product works and the rest of it. So let's just kind of jump in here and get going. Um, and this is kind of a shortened version of, you know, our large presentation we teach all the time and we just want to get the key points here. All right. So what we do know is that this is a conversation not a lot of people have. It's with this elephant in the room because people just don't like talking about retiring and cash flow and financial planning, a lot of things around that. And so we're trying to encourage people to have that conversation a little bit more. So here's a couple of stats, right, Cal? You want to go through these quickly? Absolutely. 10,000 people are turning 62 every day. 62 million Americans are over, are over 62 years old. 24 million are between the ages of 62 and 69, and 81% of those are homeowners. In 1990, I know it's out of date a little bit, but 32% of homeowners were 62 to 69, and they had no mortgage debt. Today, it's 60%. 10,000 boomers are retiring every day. 57% of those boomers have less than $25,000 saved. 40% have no savings at all. The majority are vastly underprepared for retirement to the tune of $4.13 trillion shortfall. And it's actually gone up from the times we put those numbers together a little while ago. Uh, the good news is, is that there's a lot of real estate equity in the world. Um, and so we have these beautiful homes and we have equity. And that means there's potentially a solution for people around debt financing and reverse mortgages. Um, so who gets a reverse mortgage? So, you know, typically they're homeowners between the, uh, as young as 60 up to 62 ages old, depending on the product or older, and they're looking to retire with a plan or plan to downsize. Maybe they want to eliminate their mortgage payments. They want to improve their lifestyle. They want to delay social security benefits. They want to hold off cashing in other assets, create emergency funding sources. And of course, all the advisors that work with them, those same sort of people. At the same time, it's the adult children of those same homeowners who are worried about their parents' quality of life. Maybe they're already supplementing or feel like they may have to supplement in the future their parents' income. They're kind of concerned about their own retirement planning and how it might affect that. And of course, all the advisors that advise those people as well. So Cal. So we're going to talk about how, you know, what is home equity? Home equity is the difference in the market value of your home and how much you owe. Quick example, your house is worth $425,000. You've got a $150,000 mortgage. That means you've got $275,000 worth of home equity. And there's so many different ways to manage your home equity. I mean, you can make home improvements to increase the value of your home. You can, um, there's going to be a rise in home values in the real estate market. You can pay off all of your mortgage or some of your debt on the house. And this is the ways, the popular ways to tap into home equity. You can get a home equity line of credit. You can get a home equity loan. You can do a cash out refinance. You could sell your, ho your house. Or we have a final option, which is a reverse mortgage, which is called a home equity conversion mortgage. And that's for those people 62 years and over. And what's the difference between a reverse uh, mortgage versus a forward mortgage? In a conventional forward mortgage, you make the monthly payments to the lender, which pays off the mortgage over time. With a reverse mortgage, you receive payments from the lender and the mortgage is paid off when the home is sold. Very, very basic. There's been major changes to the HECM, the Home Equity Conversion Mortgage. The product was created in 1988. There's been massive changes since 2014, more than the previous 27 years. That came with the uh, Mortgage Stabilization Act of 2015. They are protecting the non-borrowing spouse. Uh, now they're using income and credit to underwrite you. Make sure you can afford your property taxes and insurance. There's limitations that you can take on the cash out in year one. October 2017 had an even bigger update. It reduced the borrowing limits and the change in the upfront mortgage insurance premium. Uh, and it reduced the monthly mortgage insurance premium as well. So these are all good things. There's been a lot of you know innovation over the last uh, you know call it five or seven years in the reverse mortgage space. Traditionally, there was only the Heckam product, 
uh, private lenders have come back into the marketplace with portfolio options um, and they've expanded choices for, you know, uh, homeowners. Um, you can borrow now, you can age limit can now go down to 60 years instead of 62. There's higher loan amounts all the way up to $4 million in some cases a little bit higher than that. Uh, there are options now with no costs or even lower fees. Um, uh, you can also get loans now on non FHA approved condos and houses and a lot of the same flexibility in terms of fixed rate products or lines of credit or even kind of term payments over time. So, so who's eligible for this reverse mortgage? You've got to be a homeowner. It's got to be your primary residence, uh, 62 years or older, and, and you could be 60. So give us a call and we can talk through that. It's got to be a single family home or an FHA approved condo and two to four unit owner occupied. Like John said earlier, there are portfolio options we could discuss later. So how much money can you take out? It's based on the age of the youngest borrower, the appraised value of your home, the expected interest rate, a financial assessment and credit, and then there's some flexibility on how you can take out that money. Uh, you can either do a lump sum, you could do a fixed monthly payment, you could do a line of credit, or you could do a combination of these. So it's great. So there are also a lot of different ways to access the funds uh, depending on your needs and, and plans and goals. At the same time, there's quite a bit of safety built into the product. Um, we're, set, we're not just gonna touch on a couple of quick things, but uh, essentially no matter what happens in the economy with home values up or down or how much money the borrower receives or how long they even live in the home, they may never be required to make a mortgage payment as long as they're current on taxes and insurance. There's always guaranteed access to the money, again, assuming they're able to make their property tax and insurance payment on time. Um, financial assessment uh, ensures that the borrower is able to make those tax and insurance payments, which creates a more sustainable plan for clients. Um, the borrower can never owe more than the home is worth, even if the mortgage is upside down. Won't go into a lot of detail with that, but that's a really important to understand. You can never owe more than the value of the home and neither can your heirs. Um, of course, you got to be current on your tax insurance, as we mentioned there as well. Um, and one of the ways they ensure the safety of the product is that counseling is required through a HUD approved counseling agency. It's typically done over the phone. It can be done in person, although over the phone is what's most popular these days, of course. And family is always encouraged to participate. Some of the facts about reverse mortgages, the funds are non-taxable. Uh, reverse mortgages do not impact social security or your Medicare, Medi-Cal. It's a non-recourse loan, meaning that only the home is used for repayment of the home. And there's absolutely no restrictions on the use of the money at all. Whatever you want to do with the funds, they're your money, it's your asset. So what are some of the reasons people use the mortgage cow? Well, they want to remodel or update their home for a few needs. Uh, maybe they want to refinance so they have no more payments. Maybe they want to buy a home with no payments. They want to travel. Let's go see Europe. Uh, pay for assisted in-home care. Remove the stress of trying to make ends meet. Age in place. Keep your home. Maybe debt consolidation. Defer social security. Avoid selling stocks or your financial portfolio in a down market, maybe create an emergency fund, and our favorite, helping grandchildren's college funding or give gifts to your family. Do anything you want with the money. And here's the different uses. You can refinance, you can use it to purchase a home, and you can use it for retirement planning. So I'm just gonna show you just a quick resource. There's a lot of information out there in the world on this, um, and just reach out to us. We're happy to share some of these resources for you. So I just had kind of have a couple up here on the screen um, and uh, we're just about done here. I want to remind you, we're happy to do an analysis at any time. We have a, a website, borrowsmartreverse.com where you can learn more about Cal and I. You can learn how that product works. You can check out some other videos. You can also uh, engage with our tool there that can tell you kind of how many of your neighbors have already engaged around the reverse mortgage process. So it's kind of cool. So we want to thank you very much for joining us and Cal, wrap us up. Yes, thank you very much. We again, Cal Anton, John Thompson, Simple Mortgage. Any questions about a reverse mortgage, don't hesitate to call us, reach out and sign up for one of our longer classes. Thanks and have a great day, everybody. Thank Thanks you very much. Take care. Bye.